and welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm looking like a hot mess express in today's video, but that's okay. I promise it is going to change. And we are going to be testing out this Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Now one of my absolute favorite YouTubers, Jaclyn Hill, like swears by this foundation in so many different YouTubers have just talked about this foundation, absolutely raved about it, and just loved it. I'm going to be doing a first impression and testing it out for you guys today. But some things about the foundation, it says, let's see, it says it's supposed to be undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. So um, the whole, I was reading online about it, and basically the whole thing of why it's called like Born This Way foundation is that that's like the whole idea of what they wanted to go with this foundation is that it'd be like, your skin was born this way, your skin's beautiful, flawless, like it looks great. And it says it's undetectable, so it shouldn't feel like heavy or cakey or anything. Um, it says it's hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly, non comedogenic. Um, it says it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. So it's supposed to be really good. Um, I got it in the shade Natural Beige. I'm going to be applying this with the primer that I use and love. I don't want to use a new primer with a new foundation because I want to really see how the foundation performs and not have like a whole new primer to kind of mess it up if that makes sense. So I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. It's very hydrating. Almost gone. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be doing half of my face with a sponge and the other half with a brush. I tend to kind of prefer beauty blenders just because I feel like it really gets good coverage um, and it blends it out a little easier, but we'll see how what one I prefer with this. And I have this in the shade Natural Beige. I think it may be a tiny, tiny bit too dark, but I am a little self-tan. The self-tan on my face has come off, but I am a little bit tanner on my neck, so we'll see if we can get this to blend well and with the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm just going to squirt a pump, just a couple pumps on the back of my hand, and I'm going to dab it onto my face first, and I'm going to do the beauty blender side first. Fun fact about um, beauty blenders, I had an Eco Tools one, like I really like, I mean, thankfully that's like a more affordable one, like not that expensive, whatever. Um, my daughter threw it in the toilet the other day. No longer have the Eco Tools one. I have to get a new one. I 
mean, obviously you can still see my scar, but I mean, you're gonna always see my scars, in, but I mean, I have a kind of breakout skin, and it's, it's helping with that, actually. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just impressed, it's, even though I have a lot of foundation on, and it's not too, like, I doesn't feel cakey on, and that kind of feels, like, I mean, it feels like there's a little bit of something on, not like, too much, if that makes sense. So, I'm really liking that, and yeah, so, I will see you guys in a little bit when all my makeup is on, and I'm looking a lot better and less hot messy. I just wanted to come on quick right before I do the rest of my makeup and say, this lighting is a tiny bit better, it's a little bit, a little more of natural lighting, and you can kind of see it a little better, just to give you a better idea, because I know the lighting was kind of harsh in the beginning, but, so this is just what it looks like. And yeah, so far I'm really liking it. So now I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup on. I just did some super pretty, like natural look with some Vaseline lashes. I'm obsessed with these lashes. They're new ones that I picked up. Obsessed to say the least. But here is the whole look. So here's a better look at my foundation. I'm really loving the way that it's on. And I really don't feel it. Like, you know how some foundations just feel super heavy? It really does not feel heavy. It didn't cling to any dry patches. It didn't settle in anything. So I'm hoping that it will stay like this all day. I guess we will see as the day goes on how it sets in my skin. But so far, I'm really loving it. So I am going to be doing some check-ins throughout the day. I have a few errands to run and just cleaning around the house, getting things ready and whatnot. And I will let you know how everything settles into the skin and how it's looking. I want to say it blended in really well with my concealer. Everything over top of it laid perfectly. It blended out. I didn't have any patchiness because I feel like sometimes you can um, wear like bronzers and things that won't blend in with foundation. Then it gets patchy. It did not get patchy. I did not have any issues with any powders and whatnot. So, and also everything that I used on my face, I have used previously. So it's not like first impression with new products. It's first impression with old products, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to show you what it is looking like right now. And I'm loving it. What do you guys think? I definitely am going for more of like a glowy look, especially here with summer. I want to just look, to look more glowy and more bronzy like for the summer. I did not powder very much on my forehead, that's why it's a tiny bit oily, because sometimes I like those natural oils to still seep through, and plus I really wanted to see how the foundation would perform on its own. I may have to powder throughout the day and touch up, but that's okay, I'm kind of expecting to have to do that, because I normally, that's where I will, oil will collect on me, so, yeah. So, this is my first, not really check-in, this is like my first showing you how everything is, I guess, but yeah, so. I will see you guys in a little bit, and for like when you're watching this video, it'll be like two seconds. But I'll see you in reality in a few hours. Check in from the car, and so far everything is looking good. So it's noon, so I've had my makeup on for like four or five hours ish now, and I think that it looks really good still. I'm using like the moment of truth and using the car mirror, and it still looks really good, honestly. I'm having kind of like breakout skin right now, so you can like where I'm breaking out a little bit but I feel like it still looks really good it's lasting so well and I just think that like everything looks so fresh and dewy but not like too oily I thought maybe I was gonna have the powder but like I don't know I don't think that I'm going to right now I'm just absolutely loving this like dewy glowy foundation look so far I'm still absolutely loving it I'm thinking that this is gonna become like my favorite one of my favorite foundations like honestly i feel like i'm always on the hunt for a good foundation i feel like this one might be my winner I know. This is another check-in foundation is seriously looking great skin is looking very dewy i feel like the color like i said it's a tiny bit maybe too dark like i don't know i feel like it looks a little darker on camera than it does in person so i haven't fully decided about the color but I feel like the formula, it is looking great. Like I said, my skin is just feeling so dewy and fresh, like perfect for summer. So seriously, I'm obsessed. I still have yet to powder. I probably could a little bit because my forehead is looking a little bit oily. But I have not done that yet today. And I feel like it's just looking so good. So ignore my messy house in the background of the video. But baby girl fell asleep. It's nap time. So that means I need to go put her down and start cleaning now. <laughs> but she's so cute. 
anyways like I said I feel like I feel like the foundation is just looking really great everything is looking good and yeah like I literally don't know that you're gonna be able to pry this foundation out of my hands I think this is gonna be my everyday go-to foundation aside from like if I want a BB cream with like less coverage or something but something that gives me a good amount of coverage I think this is gonna be my go-to getting all sweaty from taking a nap on me but look at this little tiny ponytail <laughs> this is my final check-in for the day so as you can see I'm definitely a little oily in the t-zone <laughs> because I do tend to get a little oily right there however it really lasted amazing honestly I know I did not powder at all today and so that is crazy to me that I like I put on a tiny tiny bit of powder this morning but not very much like minimal minimal because I really wanted to see how the foundation would perform so um I feel like it really did a great job especially for not at all being powdered they definitely have some oil seeping through um I'm not the most oily person in the world but I'm also not like the driest in the world I'm super combination so this is my skin bless you you can see my skin is kind of freaking out right now like I have I'm breaking out like I said earlier so obviously when you wear foundation no foundation is going to 150% hide that but <laughs> hey but um it does help so much this foundation did help a lot um with covering all of those imperfections and blemishes in my skin and I just look so dewy and fresh without being too oily now if you do have super oily skin I don't 100% know that you would love this foundation if you have oily skin I would maybe go in and ask for a sample that way you could take it home and try it before fully committing I recommend anyone trying samples just because I think that's how you know if it's going to agree with your skin and whatnot oh Hey. I still felt like it looked great. It looked awesome, especially for the summer months. I just feel like it's going to be the perfect, like, glowy, dewy kind of good look. So, I'm loving it. Here's a close-up view of the foundation. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next few videos to come. I have a few of them that I'm super duper excited about. I upload every Monday and Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Did you hear that? How rude. I'm filming a video. Yay! Yes! 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 Hey! Are you gonna talk? Eh! Say hi! Eh! Eh! Yeah? Eh! Eh! Are you filming your video? Eh! You're so silly. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.